Welcome to a very ugly look. You can see this poor little guy has quite some rust on it and even the key is uh, really rusty. This was the initial introduction to my video where I wanted to see if concentrated vinegar as an acid would remove the rust from this lock. It didn't work quite well and the lock came not out uh, nice and shiny as I would have expected it. So I decided to do some other experiment with this brass lock and with other brass locks um, after that. But before I show you the result of the acid treatment, um, let's quickly pick this lock. And it's open. After the picking I put it in a plastic container, poured the concentrated vinegar acid onto it and let it sit for a couple of days. The result was not as nice as I expected and here is my first impression on it. Well, it became ugly <laughs> and brownish and the rust here is, is still on. How about the key? Same. As I had no success with the vinegar treatment, I thought about trying electrolysis. So I set up a bucket full of salty water and put in the lock connected to the minus pole and a steel ball connected to the plus pole. And I turned on the power supply, which had about 37 voltage. I've seen on YouTube a couple of videos where rust was successfully removed uh, with a treatment or with a setup like this. But of course, um, the lock is um, brass um, uh, from the from the lock body, which is um, uh, copper and zinc, and it's uh, not iron or steel. And the shackle is also not pure steel. I think it's uh, coated with uh, maybe uh, chromium or whatever, so it's not pure steel. And so the result um, was actually not expected to be pretty, but I was curious what would happen, and so. I just turned on the power supply and looked what happened. So here we see the situation after about one hour. Still a lot of bubbles and brown and green stuff. Looks like cream. <laughs> but I think the bubbles are um, hydrogen. So let's try to set them on fire. If they make some noise. Oh yeah. That was cool. I continued the experiment for a couple of hours and the solution became more and more ugly. Greenish, brownish, yellowish, a lot of bubbles and uh, really dense. A lot of stuff uh, was in the solution and after a couple of hours I pulled out the lock, cleaned it up and here is the result. So here you see the result of a couple of hours of electrolysis. <laughs> With this lock on the cutout, it has changed the color and it looks quite interesting. But I would have expected this to be uh, dissolved a little bit, but it's still in pretty good shape. It still does work, no, no problems. Um, I want to see what happens if on both sides anode and cutout we have a lock. Uh, brass lock and I have two examples that I want to uh, use for that experiment. While the electrolysis treatment for the first lock was to get some rust off the shackle, this experiment here with the two brass locks is actually just to satisfy my curiosity what would happen if we put these two brass locks in a salty solution and apply some voltage. I've seen that uh, from the first experiment the steel bolt, which was connected to the plus pole, to the anode, has lost um, some of its uh, material. And so I would also expect here the brass lock on the right side, connected to the red uh, connector, to lose some of its material. As zinc um, goes uh, more easily into, into the solution, I would also expect this lock to become a little bit reddish from the remaining copper. But let's see what happens. 
Okay, this now has been sitting there for about eight hours. Um, I switch off the power supply. <laughs> Stops bubbling. So we are very curious what has happened to the locks. Um, let's have a look at the one. Ah, that's warm. That was attached to the cathode. Not so much change in size, but change in color. <laughs> Um, and the other one, it's very interesting. Wow, that looks ugly. It's also very warm. Oh, mm, major changes here. Ah, oh, it's really hot. We can see it's red. So the sink has been um, uh, has has vanished, and I think the red color comes from the from the copper. And when we look at the bottom, it's not uh, as solid as it was before anymore. <laughs> wow. This has changed in size uh, a lot. I did some more cleanups on the locks to see the actual change a little bit better. But then I decided to repeat the process to get even more material eaten away from the Burgwächter. After a total of about 16 hours, I stopped the experiment, pulled the locks out, cleaned them up really good and so we can now see the final result. So here's the result of my experiment. That's the first lock that I had in the salty solution on the cathode. We can see no change of uh, size, but of course change of color. So the black uh, color here, I believe, is oxidized zinc. And of course, we can also see all other kind of shades from the brass. And yeah, looks pretty interesting. Uh, still works, no issue. I will save this lock for another experiment that, I'm, that I have in mind, but a little bit later more to that. Then we have the locks of the second experiment. Here is the lock that I had on the uh, cutout as well. Um, kind of similar to, to this one, but that lock was uh, a little bit longer uh, um, in the treatment. <laughs> so we can see a very solid uh, s coating here with um, oxidized zinc. At least that's what I believe that it is. Um, I think the lock will still work, um, but I don't have a key and I don't want to pick it now. So, um, yeah, that's the uh, lock of the second experiment from the cathode. Now comes the highlight. <laughs> that's the botchia that I had on the anode and a lot of uh, material has been eaten away. Yeah, we can still see the dimples. But that looks really, really cool. That's kind of uh, the color of uh, brass patina. But here on the, on the bottom we can see the copper exposed, so the zinc has been eaten away and transported as uh, coating on, on this one. Yeah, the lock still works, uh, surprisingly, so now it's locked up and now it's open. <laughs> Pretty funny. So here um, it went into the water and has been eaten away the, the steel already and uh, this, this part of the shackle is also not intact anymore. You can close it and it's locked up again. So properly functioning lock. <laughs> So that was my experiment with um, uh, electrolysis and locks. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, probably discard this lock, then clean up that one. But what I want to show you in the next video is I want to see if I can get open this lock by um, submerging this side with the, with the pin stacks into the salty water and apply uh, voltage, so this will be uh, uh, on the side of the anode, 
And I'm then waiting until everything has been eaten away and uh, the springs come out and then I believe we can just turn the plug and the lock will open. Alright, so, uh, but this will be a um, subject of another video. Alright, hope, um, I hope you found this interesting and um, funny. Thanks for watching, happy picking and bye bye.